When you first visit the new IATN search engine, you'll be presented with this How to Search IATN suggestion box. It has a list of suggestions on how you can get the most out of the new IATN search engine. We have three primary elements to the search interface. At the top, we have a search bar where you could either describe a vehicle, enter a VIN number for vehicle decoding, and include any terminology you wish to search upon. On the left, at the top, you see the three primary elements of the IATN knowledge base. You could either restrict your searching to one of these areas or all. By default, they are all on, but you can easily click through on one to restrict all your search results to that particular area. And to resume searching all of the areas, you can just click back on that item you selected to turn them back on. And below this, we have a list of filtering options that dynamically change based off of your search input. And of course, in the center of the page, we have search results. This search tutorial is going to primarily focus on using a vehicle to base our search upon. So first, we're going to just paste in a VIN number for vehicle decoding. It may ask us to define the submodel, and in this case, we'll just pick the LT. And you can see that the search results are updated automatically, along with the list of filtering options. But say we didn't have the VIN number and we just wanted to enter a vehicle. So in this case, we could type in the model year and begin to type in the model. And I'm just going to pick that Silverado 5.3T and I have the same result set. Say I'm working on a TAC module system and as I begin to type, our list of auto-suggested terms will come up allowing you to quickly select one of those. You can see the result count at the top. We're showing you by default 10 out of 34 and it is sorted by relevance. If you want to sort by date, you can do that manually, but we recommend leaving it sorted automatically. And we also have an option to expand your search or constrain it, depending on what you're looking for. Here by default, we search similar engine packages in a model. So that same 5.3 powertrain, we give you all of the vehicles that were fitted with that. The next one would be similar vehicles any engine, then all engine sizes or exact match. And you can see we have 34 documents. If I expand it out using similar vehicles any engine, now I'm including 70 documents within my search result set. And the list of filtering options on the left are dependent on our search. And you can see the top DTCs related, other options showing us fixed, articles that only have DTCs stored, and so on. And you can drill down even further into your search results by selecting any of these items. If you wish to turn that back off, you can either click here or optionally turn it off here. We hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on the new IATN search engine. Thanks for watching.